I'm Tim Gresham. Today I'm going to take you through interfacing the Centec transcutaneous CO2 and O2 monitor with a polysomnography machine. Um, for that, all you really need is the interface cable and a PSG machine. I don't have a PSG machine, but I'm going to show you how to set up the Centec device uh, so that you can calibrate the signals. Uh, now this cable happens to be a CompuMedics cable. Um, it has the Centec proprietary plug on one side um, and your DC interface box plugs on the other side. Um, this one, as I said, just happens to be a CompuMedics one, so you've got these little um, headphone-like jacks here. Uh, there's one channel uh, per signal, so that's a uh, one, sorry, one plug per signal. That's the CO2, that's the SATs, um, and that's the pulse rate channel. First thing we need to do is go ahead and plug the uh, interface cable into the appropriate port, the interface port on the Centec machine. And when we do that, we want to hear two clicks. One, two. Make sure it's nicely plugged in. That's locked in there now. And ordinarily, you then take these and assign them to the various ports on your DC interface box. Um, for now, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to let that sit there. And I'm going to show you on the software where we go to to, um, in, to calibrate that interface. So presumably the, um, the CompuMedics or ALICE or Embla system um, is getting a signal from the, from the CO2 machine. Uh, but let's give it a standardized signal um, so that we can calibrate the software. Now the first thing we do is go just into the main menu and you guessed it, we go to interfaces the interface button and you've got a couple of options there. You've got serial interfaces, LAN interfaces and of course the analog outputs. Analog outputs is what we're looking for here. Enter. Now at the top in yellow it says output voltage. It says volts 0 to 1. Now that's our output 0 to 1. Uh, obviously it can go higher than 1 volts um, but this is, a, this is going to give you a table to tell you uh, what 0 means on the back of the machine and what one means. So let's say the CO2 signal is at 50 millimeters of mercury. Um, we want to know what that means in terms of voltage out the back of the machine. Uh, in this case, uh, because this is zero to one volts means zero uh, millimeters of mercury to 100 millimeters of mercury, then 50 millimeters of mercury is going to be, uh, sorry, 50, 50 millimeters of mercury is going to be um, 0.5 volts. So, um, so that gives you a little table to tell you that. Then we go down all the way to the calibration sequence. Um, now, once we push enter on the calibration sequence, the machine is going to put one volt for out of each pin at the back through the cable to your polysom polysomnography machine. And just to illustrate that to you, I've got a multimeter here. I'm going to put it on maximum 20 volts um, so that we can see what's going on. I'm going to try and make that available to the camera by leaning it up against the device. Let's do that. And we're going to have a look at the signals that these are producing. Let's choose the CO2. It's not going to make any difference. They're all going to be the same at one volt. I'm not sure whether you can see that, but that's reading 1.02 1 .0, volts which is, I suspect, exactly what that one's reading and exactly what that one's reading. Okay, so there's your, uh, your upper level calibration point for the interface. And if I push enter or just wait for 60 seconds, 60 seconds has transpired now, so it's gone to zero volts. Um, and we measure them again. We find that's 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and 0 0.01, and that's your lower level for calibration on your polysomnography software. Um, so once you've um, fixed those points in, you can then test the interface. So let's just put that aside. Assume that's plugged into our PSG um, DC interface box. So let's check them. Okay, the, the, and the way we check them is just to go back through the menu, back to the main menu, and we put it in demo mode. Okay, sorry, it's in system settings, gone one too far down there. 
and then down to demonstrate demo mode, which is there, enter. We now have a little double headed arrow. We move that up to turn it on, enter, go back to the main screen. Okay, now this is a, just a pre recorded patient in demo mode, so you're now getting signals out the back to our polysomnography machine. Um, and you can either train your camera on the screen or do as I do from time to time and just step into the bedroom and then step out to the control room, step into the bedroom and keep checking the number and make sure it's fairly stable and that the PSG machine is reading the same thing as the, uh, as the Centec machine. What I'm going to do, just to illustrate that once again, is again show you on the, um, on the multimeter here. Which we've left running. Let's take, take the CO2 channel. Now, if we assume that what we said was about right and that this is producing 0 to 1 volts, means 0 to 100 millimeters of mercury, then uh, we're going to expect on the CO2 channel a volts of about 0.43. So let's try that. Put the right things on the right one. And look at that, we've got 0.45. That's actually just gone up because this is a real patient that, that's been recorded here. And I don't think it's moving greatly, so that's on the SATS channel. We should have about 0.84. And again, very, very close, 0.86. And that is how we calibrate our um, PSG machine. Once we've done that, we can go back, take it out of demo mode, because obviously we don't want to be confusing the night star uh, with a demo mode. So we system settings, then down to demo mode, enter, turn that off, go back through the menu. Now I'm going to close the door. It's ready for use, ready to go. I hope you found that informative. Thank you very much for viewing the video and I'll look forward to the next video. Thank you.